and that I would interact uh, with people from the township, not on an official basis, but just kind of keep in touch with what's going on and uh, didn't really start out to think that I wanted to pursue the position of trustee, but uh, when it did open up, uh, I thought long and hard about uh, would it be something that I might want to do. Uh, and as you stated earlier, for 17 years I watched, uh, by attending every township board meeting, I watched the nuts and bolts of government being done. And I sometimes learned what to do, what not to do. Uh, but never had aspirations of actually doing that. And to be honest with you, in that five year period, um, I actually missed the interaction of township business being able to interact uh, and collaborate with those agencies and uh, uh, other types of things like the school board uh, to collaborate to obviously make our community better. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a lot of experience in that 17 years in those partnerships and collaborations and understanding, um, you know, sometimes, you know, there is a method to how you can make these things work and uh, trust is one of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, Do you consider that the key? Trust? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you, um, my, my son, who is uh, uh, a very successful track coach in Northwest Ohio, uh, he subscribes to a lot of leadership tenants. And there is a leadership uh, expert who actually does Ohio State football. His name is Tim Kite, and uh, my son always uses this statement based on trust, and that is people don't necessarily follow the clarity of the plan. They follow the connection of the leaders, and that particular statement is basically what I believe is the key to that trust factor. You have to first of all have trust, um, which is kind of what developed for me. Our uh, there were 10 people that applied for that position, but let me back up for a second. I would not have applied for that position if I would have seen anything that would have been a contentious relationship between the two board members currently. And let's face it, they are distinctively different personalities. Yeah, one's it was starting, one's a Democrat, Lano, and the other's a Republican, Scott Hawes. Correct. But obviously, you know, being a trustee is a nonpartisan position. But in reality, we know there's always going to be some type of loyalty back to that party. Right. You yourself are a registered Democrat, right? right. Correct. So, been yeah, that all your life? All my life. It was what my dad was, and it was just something that, uh, you know, I kind of keep as a legacy of my dad. Um, you know, and his work ethic. Mm -hmm. uh, he was first generation born in this country, so, um, you know, he was just a workaholic. And uh, he, uh, he, he gave me the inspiration to do the same thing. 